In this video, I will explain the principle of moments. Principle of moments is also known as Varignon's theorem. It states that the force of a moment of a force about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of the components of the force about a point. In this figure, you can see that F1 and F2, the resultant of F1 and F2 is force F. If we take moment of F about point O, it will be equal to the sum of moments of its components. Its components are F1 and F2. If we uh, take moment of F1, which is equal to F1 cross product of with R and moment of F2 cross product of with R, it will be equal to the product of cross product of F and R. It, uh, it is shown here that force is equal to F1 plus F2. It is a resultant of two forces F1 and F2. If we want to take moment either we can have cross product of R cross F which will be equal to R cross F1 plus R cross F2. So we can also use this principle of moment in by resolving the force into its rectangular components and determine and then determine the moment using a scalar analysis. In this figure you can see that this force is resolved into its x and y components. If we want to take the moment of this force about this point O, we can either can uh, resolve this force into its x and y components, then we will take moment of fx which is fx multiplied by this perpendicular distance y and fy multiplied by this perpendicular distance x. So this is the one way of uh, by, uh, calculating the moment. The second way is you, you multiply this force with this perpendicular distance d. This is the two uh, possible solutions and it will not affect the answer. This is called Varignon's theorem and uh, we will prove it in the example. In this example, a force is given which is 5 kN and it is acting at 45 degree with the horizontal. So first we will resolve this force into its x and y components. You can see here this force has been resolved into its x. This is x fx fx because it is making angle 45 with the horizontal and in the front of horizontal there is perpendicular and perpendicular is always with the sine sine theta and this is the x component is the base which is coming with cos 45 so this is 5 cos 45 x component and this is y component of this force and which is equal to 5 sin 45. Now we need to find this distance. This is x and we then find out 
this vertical distance which is y then uh, we will calculate the moment of this force about point o we are given this distance which is equal to 3 meter this 3 meter distance is making an angle 30 degree this is 30 degree so we will resolve this into x and y component so this angle is 30 degree and in the front of a uh, angle uh, there is perpendicular a perpendicular is always with the sine theta sine 30 multiplied by 3 is the vertical distance and this is the base of this triangle which is with the cos theta so this is x and this is y so now we want to calculate moment so m o moment about point o is equal to this force x force multiply the y distance y distance how much distance it has with the point o so point o it has distance of 3 sine 30 is the vertical distance and this force will rotate the member this member in the clockwise direction you can see this force is acting in this direction x force is multiplied by y, y, y distance and it will rotate this member in the clockwise direction so we write it here this is fx multiplied by y this is in the clockwise direction so uh, we place a negative sign here and then f of y f of y has a perpendicular distance x and it will also rotate it in the clockwise direction so we place a negative sign here and negative sign is placed here and this y component of force multiply with the x component of distance so f y multiplied by x so f of, f of x you can see here is equal to Five cos forty five minus sign is for the clockwise direction and y distance is three sine thirty minus f of y is equal to five sine 45 multiplied by y dist uh, x distance x distance is 3 cos 30 as both components fx and fy are trying to move it in the clockwise direction so therefore both these components are negative and then we solve it the answer is negative 14.5 newton meter newton meter